Okay, Tim C. Stay on. Sources also say that the government is likely to give a GST relief to Infosys, foreign airlines and foreign shipping lines. Tell us a little more about that. Well, yes, uh, the proposal on the table of uh, senior officials at Nordblok is to consider giving relaxation from the recently sent GST notices to Infosys to 10 foreign airlines operating in the country and several foreign shipping lines which are operating in the country. Remember, Infosys had got uh, over 30,000 crore rupees of tax demand uh, which uh, on which Infosys said that they need some time to get back. For the first year, they actually got a waiver also from the government. It was an interim report that was being shared and based on the clarification for financial year 17-18, They've got a relief also on the tax demand. And for the remaining years, Infosys has sought more time to reply to the GST authorities. And we are given to understand that since there's a common thread of uh, services based on which this uh, demand has been sent to Infosys, to foreign shipping lines and to foreign airlines, there was a June circular issued recently by the GST Council. And that circular is likely to get further relaxed in the upcoming Council meeting to end all these uh, three set of notices being sent to Infosys to 10 foreign airlines and to foreign shipping lines uh, that could come in the upcoming council meeting on September 9th. So let's see, it could be a big breather. Foreign airlines, remember, were sent uh, over 10,000 crore worth of notices. Similarly, Infosys is contesting 30,000 crore worth of notices. And yes, uh, foreign air shipping lines are contesting about a lot more of notices. So all these will be relaxed because government wants tax certainty and ease of doing business in the country. Important story. Tim C, thank you for getting us that. Let's get back to the markets and talk about